I don't know. I'll make it work. I just gotta, I gotta start slowly excluding alcohol out of it because it's definitely not healthy. No, definitely not healthy. But, dude, it fucking knocks my ass out. That alcohol does that. Ass insurance from your parents. It's like, oh, fuck. Well, welcome back to the PM podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the show where two guys uh, sit around, shoot some shit, drink some alcohol, and talk about life. I'm Aaron. I'm Braxton. And today we're talking about our morning routines. Uh, oh, we've shit. also had a few beverages, so yes. we're sitting here chilling. He might have to stay here for a second after oh, he drink. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I wouldn't finish that. That's really strong. I'm is gonna... it strong or is it just bad? It's bad. It's not that strong. There's like maybe that much in it. Like about like the last one. Oh. Just yeah, it's rough. Well, you gotta have a rainy day to appreciate a sunny day, I guess. So. <laughs> I guess it's that rainy day. But uh, so today we're talking about our morning routines. But before we do that, I did promise last week that we'd talk about oh my god <laughs> these pajama pants, uh, which last week for you is literally fifteen minutes ago for us. So these are the pajama bottoms. These are these are the queen. These are a new pair. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've got like ten <laughs> pairs. He has a... I never not wear silk bottoms. So these are it. This is like me. I, I mean, I don't, I'll touch the bottom of it. Yeah, I have. No! You, you don't, it's like touching your underwear. I don't want to touch your underwear. I haven't worn these. What do you mean? I'm not going to touch your clean underwear either. These are, under, these are pants. What do you mean? Do you wear underwear when you wear them? Yeah, sometimes. I doubt it. I mean, not the usually. The way you said that, you're like, yeah. Something. Not usually, but No, these... you like the way your balls feel Bro, against that beautiful silk. So, yeah, exactly. Do. Shut the fuck up. But, these, but like, these have been clean. Nah. I don't, you, do you want to touch my clean underwear? Sure. No. I will touch your underwear right fucking now. Oh, you definitely don't want to do that. I mean, I would just like touch I've the I've been edge. hot and sweaty, and I've been... I do... The car that I have. I mean, I would just, I would just like grab seats. the... I would just grab the edge, like right here. I wouldn't like grab your underwear, but like... What if I just, it's, it's, I've I've had a what I have if I, what if I just, I just don't like the feeling of it. I'd be like, very upset with you. Would you really? I'd be like that's kind of like fucking disrespectful. Oh come on! So disrespectful. Calm I have down. such a disrespectful host over here. He abuses me. He doesn't even feed me. I, oh excuse he just, me. He just gives me drinks and hey, drinks. Listen, say funny I jokes. fed you a hot pocket. Yeah. <laughs> that's I fed it. You a sandwich. Yeah, he, he forgot. I had it. I had it. I had to kill, almost kill the cat for it, because the cat almost got it over me. A sandwich? Yeah. She's not going to eat a sandwich. She almost did before, during the production phase, when they put it all together. It was over there. The cat was about to get it. Ellen was like, oh, yeah, you can have a sandwich. I'm like, I'm hungry. (laughs) And then, luckily, she let me have it. I'm impressed by the storytelling. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you. Full of shit, but I like it. So, but yeah, so there's, no, they're just super comfortable. Like they're super so soft. So why do you like those over, like what, d- does it really, hmm. they, they breathe. It's a preference, I guess. Well, they breathe. So they're not like heavy at night. So like, they're not like thick. Mm. So I can just sit in these and they're like nice and soft and wavy and they're always cold for some reason. That's true. Like, like feel them again. Like even though, no, I've been, I, yeah. even mm-hmm. though I've been rubbing them, like they're still, they're super cold. Silk. So yeah, it's just like a breathable. You act like I've never like I I do have money. I know I, I you know, know what, what silk, silk is. Yeah. I'm just saying like, <laughs> like I can see you right now. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you have silk uh, sheets? I hate silk sheets. That doesn't make any fucking sense. So you'd rather have half your body wrapped around them with your legs? But yes. You would not prefer. I hate silk sheets. Really? Why? They're the worst thing in the world because you slip and slide everywhere. I know. You cannot stay on the bed. Like maybe. Like I literally. Okay. So we have a pair of silk sheets. Yeah. Why don't you use them? Just because of that? She did. She used to put them on the bed all the time. And I'd I'd have my pillow, right? The pillow covers are also silk. Mm. So I'd lay on the pillow and the pillow would go. This yeah. right off the and the, like, fuck wearing these in bed because yeah, your true. whole body like you shift a little bit and your entire body's like, whoop, like before you do that are gone. we recording on everything yes did you triple check he's like yeah I'm pretty sure 
<laughs> He's like, now that I'm thinking about it, we just want to make sure it's at the end of our uh, end of our day, end of the show, and yeah. it's like we gotta wind down. We make the- and we're way ahead of we're actually really ahead of schedule today. So that's I'm- yeah, that's true. I think we definitely pounded out these. Uh, like I will be done in less than six hours. Total. What we've done been filming for six hours because we started at like we started at ten. I mean, we started pretty quickly. Yeah, I would say so we like started, I got here we started at nine thirty. Nine thirty. We started filming it to, to get set up. Before and everything. ten. Oh mm-hmm. well, yeah, you're probably right. Because I was setting up shit and you were getting ready. So, so 10. ten o'clock, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. We've been filming for five hours right now. Yeah, that sounds fair. So and we'll be done before four. So and we were moving. Yeah, we were killing it today. You know, can I ask you something? Like, I don't know if I, uh, as far as like the show so far, the production. What do you think of it so far? Uh, as far as how it's going, yeah. Like, what do you think of like this, the newer segments that we're doing? Everything like, uh, I mean, oh, I ten like out them. of ten. Or yeah. Which one's your favorite? What like what what segment do you like the most? Uh, I like Monday Madness. I'm actually really happy with the games we're coming out with. Yeah, true. Like the Wheel of Torture. Mm-hmm. The uh, wait, Wheel of Torture. The the name brand game that we're doing. Well, there's like two or three more games that are coming out that we have coming out that are really gonna be fun. So. Oh my god, dude, this drink does. I'm hoping that if I drink more, it starts tasting better and it's just not getting there yet. You haven't even, did you even drink it yet? Yeah. Yeah, I've had like two sips. It's not like, great. Dude, um, This is fucking awful, dude. So this is not going to be great. Can we, go, can we grab a beer? Like, can we just say that this is definitely going to be the fucking worst thing? Don't ever make this in your life. And then Yeah, I mean, I would just, just not drink. <laughs> like, just be like, yeah, we're good. Do you want another drink? I'd much rather sip on a beer, at least. I don't think I have any more beer. I think what? I think we drank the last of the. D- you today. fucking joking me? You don't have any uh, beers? I have mixed house? drinks. Yeah, they're mine. I will just not drink. <laughs> I don't want to drink more liquor. Right. Like hard liquor. Um. Things. Anyways, so I think I think this Monday Madness has really turned out to be a lot of fun. That or uh, I love Hump Day. Hump Day's fun, mm. and then shooting the shit's also always good. True. So, uh, Fan Day. I'm having fun with it. I think it'll continue to be fun head to head. I think it'll get better. Yeah. As we go, but I don't know. I think Monday Madness right now is my favorite. What about you? I mean, I really enjoy the podcast. That's definitely my <coughs> favorite because it's oh, definitely yeah, the yeah, most yeah. chillest environment. Uh, at least for me, where I don't have to, you know, be super bubbly. I guess where I can just kind of be myself and chill. You know, kind of tell everybody. How, and there's people that want to listen and you know hear what's going on in our lives, which is kind of cool to know and. You know, appreciate that and, you know, appreciate the support. But the show after the show, it's not clicking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The show after the show. I feel like I have some ideas that, you know, maybe making it a little bit. I understand the purpose of it, though. Uh, I like the Polar Pop. That that one was fun. Yeah. Like, the, cause we had a lot of funny bits in that one. Um, I liked. But do you think my, my thing with it, my issue with it is that it's so, it's so quick. On really? purpose, though. All right. Well, that's because good. the because it was on Instagram at first. It was right. like it was and like that's a, why I understand. It was the like a it was like it. a two to five minute video, right? That people wanted to see after the show because they wanted to see a more in depth behind the scenes kind of thing. Yeah. So it's like okay, well we'll do like oh the trivia was fun the serial trivia. It was. Yeah. So like, not I mean not everything landed because it was like yeah. two minutes long. But we could always maybe just like talk a little bit longer, like before the punishments, we could talk about the segment a little bit more and keep it longer. But we also don't want to keep it too long because then it adds to our production yeah, I guess time. I, and... I didn't think about that. I knew, I knew that it was like, hey, I'd much rather you guys just come to YouTube and check out this channel versus, hey, go check out Instagram, go check out Facebook, go check out like, right. it's like sending people in a different area where it's just like, go check it. Go versus if it's on channel. YouTube, all you got to do is either click that link or just scroll down to the bottom of our YouTube cha- YouTube page and the other channel is right there. So yeah. it's easy to find. That's true. I just uh, so that maybe that makes sense now. I like, kind of talked to you about it, but I kind of wanted yeah. to like, man, eh, something just wasn't feeling right about it. I, it just I don't feels know it was... quick. There's not enough time to yeah. build momentum, right? And that's maybe why I don't like it. But yeah. I mean, not but, saying that. But the point is, that actually might be a good thing though, because the point is we're supposed to continue off the momentum of the episode, right? So wherever the episode ended, that's where Sat starts off, right? So we're technically not ending the episode. It's just right. like, but I I did notice you started to get up and stuff like that and move around. I'm like, no, no, we're still filming. Go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I think once we get used to being like, hey, we're still filming, we're still in the show, we're still doing this, if we sh- treat sats as an extended version of the show, mm. I think it'll be. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. I think, hopefully. We'll find out. We will find out. It's only going to get better and better. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, get rid of these. Oh, man. I'm tired. Same Z's. Been a Shut l- the fuck up. He's like, I'm tired. Bro. <laughs> I was up till one. I got up at like f- six. Yeah, let's talk about our routine. So I woke up at eight o'clock last night. True. True. <laughs> but hey, I mean, it's only four or three o'clock right now. My morning starts at, t- yeah, it's almost 20 hours since. No. Wait, what? It's almost 20 hours. Eight to eight is 12. Eight, eight to eight is 24. No, no. Eight to eight, like eight at night, eight in the morning. Right. I'm talking about eight all the way to eight tonight. Oh tw- yeah, that's twenty-four 12. or twenty-four minus the. If we're gonna end up, it's four o'clock. It's three o'clock. It's gonna be four o'clock by the time we're done with this. Maybe probably it's twenty hours. Yeah, that's not including the two-hour drive home. Yeah. Oh shit! I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it's just like, oh god. <laughs> me or you? No, me. You're <laughs> like, oh like, no. Fuck! It's been almost a goddamn day. No, but I mean, it, honestly though, it's it's only for three weeks. Yeah. We just gotta get yeah. to these three weeks. And we'll, you know. I do think that the uh, we didn't even get to test out the two like a little break in between, but yeah, I think. Dude, well, I mean, we're not is, filming next week. Work is about to fucking stick it in my butt, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not looking forward to it. Like they're yeah. not even gonna have the courtesy to spit, dude. They're just gonna be like, "Nope, we're, we're going like, in, dude." Yeah, bam, dude. Um, I and I'm not really mad about it. I just don't like, um, because I'm still in that grace period, and I was kind yeah. of telling you that. I mean, I don't really have a choice. Right. I mean, they'll. I mean, they could just potentially. They have. They could let me go. So it's like, and you know, I don't like to tell my bosses no anyways, and. You know, but it's just, man, it's going to make it a little tough. But I, I am kind of happy that we're able to kind of take a break or, you know, kind of walk away and, you know, get a weekend. But it'll be fucking nice money. So, I mean, I guess I can't yeah. do this. I fucking, I don't think it's dude, you can bleep this out maybe or whatever because I'm sure no people don't want to know. But Is it his real name? No. Okay. No, I, no. I had a one of my friends there or i don't know if we're friends yet but we're he's pretty nice i'm a nice person uh he ended up working 80 hours voluntarily like he wanted to because he's like i was like bro why the fuck would you want to do that yeah and he's just like oh i got my mortgage payment due here at the end of the month and like i just want to make sure i make it the the taxes <clears throat> out of this check was 1400 dollars. that's ridiculous well that's insane what? Like he t- like he told me how much, like he told me how much he actually made on it. It was just like holy shit. Well, how much do they tax you on? He's like fourteen hundred, and I'm like, holy shit. They don't work eighty hours again, dude. Yeah, it's not that, worth it. Yeah, it's really not. Like, I think like the sweet spot is like sixty five hours, from what I can tell from people. Yeah, like, where it's like you're not in that different bracket. I think sixty five getting- would be too like any more than sixty five would be too much. Yeah, because I work seven days a week right now. I work every single day, Monday through Sunday. Yeah. So I probably put in 65, 70 hours a week, and it's almost too much for me. Yeah. That's fucked up. So what, me working that much or anybody work, working that much? Yeah, anybody, dude. Well, you shouldn't You shouldn't live to work. Right. Like, you got to have a life. Yeah. Well, which I think it kind of goes back to the whole point where we talked about at the very beginning of the, all this, uh, you moving and everything was as like... Uh, work to live or live it, to work. Yeah, is money worth the... The whatever i mean it's a life-changing salary That's i mean yeah i mean you find out well you're not even you haven't been there long enough to really oh i get a raise in next month right well you haven't even been there long enough to find out really how beneficial it is yeah like it's been, they That's said true. 90 days it's been like a month and they're already like hey by the way bam yeah so it's gonna be rough. but we've only we're having a break in between so you won't come next week right and then the following week we'll meet up. Hopefully by then we'll have some kind of clarity on what the fuck is what going we're on. doing. Yeah, yeah, if it's gonna be like a Friday around this time, or if it's gonna be yeah, Saturday. Like that or... overtime's gonna fucking suck, and it's gonna fuck me in the beauty. But yeah, whatever. 
I'll, I'll be able to afford a plane ticket to just fly here and <laughs> don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Private jet. Yeah, dude. No I'm biggie. Down for that. I was talking about one of my uh, uh, buddies that works there. He uh, He's always buying something. Yeah. But he buys a lot of stuff. Well, he wants to buy a lot of stuff, and he does buy a lot of stuff that he can essentially that it that gives him more equity in his life. So he like he likes to buy a lot of houses, likes to buy cars. Oh, like okay, yeah. So yeah. it's like he's he might not have you know a lot in his bank account, but he's got a lot everywhere else. Well, I'm sure he does too because he, he diversifies. Yeah, so he's definitely really smart with his money. But we were talking about um, buying a yacht. And I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. We could charter that shit out and make like a fuck ton of money, dude. Have you ever seen that below deck? Yeah, but you know how expensive that shit is? Oh, yeah, but you know how much they charge those fucking rich True. assholes that just like, oh, yeah, here you go. Here's like a couple hundred grand. And it's like, yeah, dude, they charge like 200 grand just to rent out these like super yachts. I mean, they're super yachts. True. Yeah. But like, they're expensive. But you pay like four million dollars for these super yachts and then you you make that literally back in one charter season hello are we gonna buy one can we buy one uh should we fuck yeah dude there's so much dumb money that you can make i don't know dude the yachts that we were looking at were like four to ten million and it was like hell yeah you can fly a private jet to here for 1300 bucks done it's like you go to your closest airport have your private jet meet you there They'll okay. fly you to Zionsville, and then you can pop a yep. Yeah, that's like literally me like working that week just to fly here. Right. That's like, well, here's my fucking check. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I just got paid today. Here you go. It's like, oh, But it's that's... like, I think it's like a 20-minute flight. Yeah, maybe. I'd rather save the money. How fast could you get here in a jet? I feel like it would still take forever, though, because by the time I get there, I do boarding, and then they, I mean, I get it. It's a private one. So, I mean, it would be a little bit quicker, but you're still looking at like 40 minutes before, by the time I get there, before we probably take off. No, no, no. You show up to the airfield. They know you're coming. You just drive onto the tarmac, hop on the plane. Gone. But then by the time they, I feel like there's a lot of time delay between. They just I feel taxi. like I would probably they save just, like they taxi. an hour. They, you have five minutes of taxi in the air, 10 minutes or five minutes of taxi, and then five minutes of dock. So you have. Rough. You'd have like about an hour instead of, or like 45 minutes. Or shit. Well, maybe faster than that now. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't take long at all. They fly f- at top speed 575 miles an hour. So, I mean, it's like two, that's like, a it's fif- like 180 miles. Yeah, you'd be like a 15 minute flight or less. Yeah, that'd be nice. Dude, from like here to Florida is two hours. Yeah, oh, God, yeah, you would, Jesus. Yeah, okay, so that's insane. I think that's what it was. When I went to Florida, when I flew to Florida, I think it was like two hours, or maybe <coughs> it might have been four. How many miles? It's 129 miles. Oh, yeah. Well, less than so that, because I, I, I nav to Fort Wayne. You're a little bit south so of that. you'd be like literally like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, you'd be in the air 10 minutes, land. It'd take longer just to fucking get on the plane and get off. No, nah, you know, 20 minutes. Like, you drive up, hop in. Get out. Twenty minutes. You're twenty minutes in. You're here. Be fucked. Boom. Yeah, but that's like my check. I don't yeah, that's a lot of money. That's, that's that's expensive. Just to come here to get. Okay, fucking. so your morning routine. What time do you wake up? Uh, so usually I try to wake up at eight o'clock. At night. Yeah, I so I have to be at work. I leave for work at ten. Yep. Get there at like eleven or whatever. Or you clock in at eleven. I clock in at eleven. Yeah. So I usually I leave an hour before just so I can. So let me just tell you. So, I'll go to bed. Typically, if I get to bed before noon, then that's a good day for me. Then I get to yeah. I get the actual sleep that I need. You know, if I try to I try to get everything that I can done in the morning. So, because everything's about to open up, and that's the problem. Like when I get off at seven o'clock in the morning, like there's a lot of businesses that still aren't open yet. Like they don't open until eight or nine o'clock. <laughs> Excuse me. You're good. Um, so, I mean, I typically have to stay up and then usually what I'll do is I'll like when I, I guess it's so weird. Cause like, what we're starting off when I wake up, I don't wake up in the morning. I wake up at night. Yeah. So it's like, 
Which is, that's why I'm asking you because it's an interesting, ret- it's an interesting perspective for most people. So I guess my typical day, I guess I'll do that. Okay. Is uh, I'll wake up around eight o'clock. If I want to sleep in until nine, that's fine. I'll wake up. If I'm not taking a shower, then I'll just pretty much just watch TV to help wake up because mm-hmm. I need something to wake me up. So I'll turn on the TV or I'll look at my phone, kind of look through Facebook. What, dude, I love those Facebook videos. They always get me, dude, because it's like you can spend three hours on that stuff, and that's yeah. what keeps people up late at night. Um, so I'll always be watching like a video, like YouTube videos or something like that, just something to like kind of keep my brain activated, I guess. Leave, leave uh, so from 9... 8 or 9 o'clock at night until 10, I know it's like a hard out by 10.15. Like, I need to be leaving the house at least by 10.15 or a little earlier. But I'll grab something to eat. I'll make a sandwich, get some coffee. I'll start that up, you know, start drinking that. I try to have, like, two cups of coffee before I leave because then that's, like, when I'm, like, I know I'm awake because the problem is, like, dude, it's it's dark. Like, it just becomes dark. Like, if I wake up at 8 o'clock, I still have sunlight. 9 o'clock, like, that sun is, like, almost gone. And then by 10 o'clock, it's dark out. So it kind of right. sucks because it it's really hard to wake up and then drive in the dark. Right. It's like, oh, I'm just going to go back to bed. Like, it's now it's dark. Like, I need to get some better, like, blackout blankets, honestly, because I have this, like, dark Michigan blue blanket over my window, and that's helps, but, damn, it's hard to sleep with it. So I'll get to work and I'll work for eight hours, do all that stuff. By then I'm usually all jacked up. So, cause I'll always stop at the gas station and I, four out of five times I'll buy like out of the week, I'll buy like a five hour energy. Right. Just because like I will, every time I'm always at work, I always want to be like ready to go. Like, I don't want to be the guy that's like dragging ass, especially like during my probation Probation. period like i want to be like all right dude he's like ready to go he's ready to work he you know he's always has a good attitude and like i always tell everybody like let's kill it today like you know and i always fuck around with people like try to make them laugh and i usually do there's some people that are just like over it right yeah they're just like man i'm gonna be pissed all fucking day it's like you know what that's cool but like fuck you (laughs) I'll, I'll, i'll be over here so uh you know, I work all day and then I get off at seven in the morning and then that's when I go home. And then if I don't take a shower, then like if I, you know, if I'm like, oh, well, I didn't take a shower last night or like yesterday morning or like, you know, yesterday night. And then I'll usually take one in the morning or I'll cook food, have a couple beers because, man, I'm telling you, it's really hard to sleep during the day. And I, yeah. I literally get like. I mentioned before on the podcast, like my dad, like he enjoys his beer, but the dude worked like third shift for like 17 years. So now you know why. Yeah. (laughs) Like I'm like, because it's hard to like really come home and just be like, I have to like go to bed. But that dude had kids. So it was just like, it's even worse. Yeah. Yeah. Because like when I got home, you know, we got off of school at like what? Three fifteen, four o'clock by the time we got home. Right. It's like, well, fuck, I just went to bed like four hours ago. Now I got to be up because the kids won't shut up, you know, because the last thing I understood was like, oh, dad needs sleep until he walked out the door and he was like, shut the fuck. Well, he didn't never told us to shut the fuck up, but he had the look of like, he shut was like, the fuck I need up. you to be quiet. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, that's it. That's kind of like how it's out. Like, yeah. 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 Okay, kids. It's uh, I'm going to kill you guys unless you uh, start being quiet. It's like I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone. But uh, yeah, you don't want to wake that sleeping giant. But uh, yeah, no, I get it, dude. It's really hard to sleep during the day, especially when you know, like this is when people and that's when everybody's starting to hit you up. You know, by 10, 11 o'clock, it's like, all right, you have like, every, that's when everybody else is waking up. So they want to start Excuse talking and, yeah. you know, have, you know, or they'll, they'll call you during when they're off of work, which is, you know, maybe they have like a normal shift where they work like a nine to five. So they're calling you, waking you up. So it's like, you need something that'll just knock you out. And, Do you put your phone on silent? Yeah. Yeah. But it's still annoying when I hear, mm, mm, that's a good impression actually and it's just like god damn it like because i i can't block out the entire noise because i use that as my alarm i don't know do you have like an alarm clock 
Or do you no, use your I phone? have my phone. See? Yeah. I feel like a lot of people do that. My parents still use an alarm clock. Ellen has one too. Yeah, and I yeah. I feel like maybe that's what I need to do and just turn my fucking phone off. Well, you, that can, way. you can actually set it to where uh, you can have do not disturb unless it's like work or you're somebody important. You can make a setting in your phone to where it's like no one can call you except these numbers hmm. between this time and this time. Ooh. Maybe that's what So I like your phone will automatically go to like between... 11 o'clock in the morning yeah. and 8 o'clock at night, no one can call you besides these four people or whatever. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I need to figure that out. Like, I don't know. I can like, show you. I always, well, I always, I, I do like to, because if it's an emergency. Yeah. That's like why you have, but the, to, that's why you have those know. numbers that are like. That's true. Hmm. I might have to think about these that. These people are the people that don't call me all the fucking time. Right. And if there is an emergency, they need to get a hold of me. Yeah. Hmm. Because if there's a real emergency, those four people are going to be called if they can't reach you. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, by the time I get home, grab some food, grab a couple beers, watch some TV, I'll play, like, a game. And I generally don't even play a game anymore because, like, once I get started... You don't I stop. get on, yeah. Yeah. Because like then my buddies want to keep going, and like I, you know, I I don't want to stop either. I like playing video games and hanging out with my buddies that are you know online and stuff that I haven't talked to in a while. Because you know I used to be able to play games all the time, especially right after I got off of work or you know. So now it's like you know I hardly get to do that anymore. But then you know I'll try to get I do try to get to bed or you know before noon, but sometimes it's like two o'clock and then. You know, it's just start, it really starts adding up during the at the end yeah. of the week. So that's my I'm pretty boring, though. Like, it's pretty simple just because, like, I don't really do dur- anything during the day. And then I work when everybody is literally sleeping. Right. And then when I'm ready to go to bed, that's when everybody's waking up to, like, do their shit. And it's like, I can, dude. I'm so fucking tired. Like, I don't want to travel an hour you know, at three o'clock to come meet you for lunch. Like I need to get some sleep or, you know, and so it's kind of tough, but I don't know. I'll make it work. I just gotta, I gotta start slowly excluding alcohol out of it. Cause it's definitely not healthy. No, definitely not healthy, but dude, it fucking knocks my ass out. I understand that alcohol does that. What about you? <coughs> I cough. And yeah. Then... And then I cough and then I get up. Uh, no. So, I have two different kind of routines because there's routines like this recently. I haven't been having anything because I've been trying to take some mental health before we start filming again, because when we start filming shit gets crazy real fast. Mm. So now I'm going to go into my, my, I have a drink. No, that's my freaking scientists, dude. They won't stop draining. Um, so now I'm going into my new routine, which is I uh, I wake up at 6 or 6.30, typically. I'll get up. I'll answer emails on my phone. I'll, like, do what you do, pretty much. I'll get on my phone. I'll watch a video. I'll look at our stats for our, our videos, see if we got new subscribers, see where we're at as far as where the podcast's going, how many subscribers we got that previous night. Uh, clear all my notifications on my phone. So if it's emails, if it's... Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever. Like, I have to clear them out. I can't have any notifications when I start the day. Like, I have to have a clear phone. Um, do that. I do that for about 30 minutes. So, I'll be out of bed by 6.30 or 7. And then I will get up, go to the bathroom, take a shower. Uh, I would say I'm downstairs by like 7.30, 8 o'clock. It depends on how it depends. Sometimes the shower is longer, but I'd say seven thirty, eight o'clock is when I get downstairs. Uh, get to my computer, pull up everything, get my list out for the day. I'll start working on editing or whatever, whatever needs to be done. Whether if it's thumbnails or whatever we're doing that specific day, I'll get that started uh, till about ten, and then I'll have to do meetings and follow ups with like clients and stuff like that. Uh, that's pretty much all the way till lunch at lunchtime. I'll start to follow up with my bigger clients because that's when they take their lunches too. So it works out pretty well. Uh, I'll do client work or searching for clients or networking or whatever until probably two ish. 
And then from two to four, two to four, two to five, I'll work on the show again. Cause the show just dude, the show takes so much time to work and produce yeah. and all that. So doing all that. And then a uh, four to five is usually wrap up. So like I'll get my list. I'll see what I got done, what I still have to do. What's tomorrow's list looking like. Mm. And so I'll start like adding stuff or saying, okay, this needs to be done now. So I'll push that to tomorrow and then I'll start re- reforming my schedule a little bit. Mm. Five thirty, six o'clock. I'm usually done with work. Oh my God, <laughs> my nose dude won't stop. Um, it's running. I gotta go catch it. So, mm. um, it's 5 30, 6 o'clock. I'm usually done. And then I will uh, start thinking about dinner with Ellen. Uh, take the puppy out, play with her pretty much the rest of the night. Uh, me and Ellen will have dinner, watch some TV, like turn on our favorite show or whatever we're watching that week. 5 6. Uh, usually done. All that's done by like 8 30 or 9. And then I like to be in bed by like 9 30. 10 and then we'll watch something for like 30 minutes and then we'll both be out and then wake up at 6 30 again there you go so yeah i mean it's it's not i just try to i try to be because when we're not filming dude i hate being productive well when we're not filming i want to relax and i I don't think ellen gets that because she's like always working (laughs) recently but like i work all the time so like i need some kind of break and i think like that's true Cause I'm not the guy that wants to work. I don't want to work to live. I don't want to live to work. Like I want to work to live. So like if I have to focus on my mental health, I'll focus on my mental health. Cause that's what needs to, that's more important. Right. Cause like money's money, money's cool. But like, if you don't, if you're mentally not there, then money doesn't fucking matter. Mm, so it can buy you a helicopter though. It can, but man, it's not gonna make you happy forever. Like you just like buying things is cool. But like it's not, it's not. Eventually, you run out. Right, you'll eventually run out of money, or you'll eventually run out of shit to buy, and then you're stuck. Unless you're because you your know, mental health will Jeff just can. Because if you don't, yeah, like, true. God. I can buy a planet. <laughs> right, <laughs> like I'm gonna buy. Um, it. But like, but what I mean by that is like, you know, money's cool, money's great, but like, if you're not focusing on your mental health, like, at the end of the day, it's not gonna help you. Like you can only run so much and yeah. so far before it'll eventually catch up to you, and then you don't want to see that snap. Yeah, because That's like true. if you handle it now, granted you may not have a lot of money, you may not have a lot of time, but if you handle that issue now, you nip that issue in the bud. Because if you don't and you ignore it, that issue will compound into this, and then that will compound into this, and then it'll just keep getting more and more and more and more and more until you explode. And I can't do that. Like I've done it before. I broke, I crashed, pretty much gave up on everything. And it was just like, it was rough. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm very aware that like working's fun, money's cool, but like you got to focus, you got to make sure that you're healthy. You got to do what you enjoy. Mm-hmm. You, gotta, you, you, gotta, you, you can't give up on the things you enjoy. Like if you enjoy going golfing, go golfing. If you enjoy uh, swimming, go swimming or boating or whatever, like, Go do those things. Get away. Like, don't focus on work 24-7. Mm. What if I enjoy being on super yachts? Mm. Find somebody that has one or is having a party on one. Mm. Befriend them. If you guys know any friends out there that own super yachts, <laughs> let me know. I know a couple people that own super yachts. Well, what the fuck are we doing here in Indiana right now for? Because we don't have the money to live in California? We don't need to live on California. We just need to live on the boat for like two days and then <laughs> just fly out there and be like, yo, what's up? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> get, get you laid and then like, like come home. We come don't home. have to do that, dude. I just, you know, I'm beyond the point of being laid. Bro, like, I'll get you like, laid. Dude, I, you don't realize that I have opportunities to be laid. I just don't fuck people. Yeah, but come on. No, it's just like not worth it anymore. I've done so much fucking in my time and days. Yeah, but where California like, girls are like a whole different bro, breed of I people. Bro, I fucked Pacers cheerleaders. Like, it does just, not matter. I'm telling you, California girls. Have you ever fucked a Pacers cheerleader? I went to school with one. Yeah, so no. I haven't fucked one. Exactly. But I, I, know, what two they, of I them. know what they look like. Exactly. Like, and they uh, are, right. Like, they fuck you. You don't fuck them. <laughs> like, and it's the best thing ever. Nah, yeah. Uh, like... 
Yeah. I, I think of, I'm just ready for <laughs> that. Fuck commit. you. Yeah, dude. They, <laughs> they do not fuck around. They know exactly. Because they're used to getting fucking dick whenever they want. So, like, they, they will take advantage of it. But, yeah, no, I, I, I guess I'm at that point where it's like I'd much rather spend ready my settle time. settle down. Yeah, dude. I'm, you want somebody to cuddle with, not the yeah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. I've literally like. You want a what cuddle, makes you buddy? Think we're fucking tonight. Oh, I was like, dude, no. We're just. We're you just need to get a Tinder that. profile that says cuddling only. <laughs> yes, dude. You're so right, though. Oh my god. Just to see how maybe, far it hey, goes. Maybe that can be a Sats episode. We build you like a dating a profile. T- profile. But bed. it's like, it's like, listen, I don't want sex, only unless we get to know each other and we like each other really well. Here's what I'm willing to offer you. Won't fuck until the third date. Right. No. What would you? Yeah. No, that's usually what I. Okay. So it's like, okay, first, it's like point one. I won't fuck till the third date. Two, cuddling only for the first whatever. Three, we don't fuck unless I like you. <laughs> Four. Yeah, dude. Like, for real. Gotta have a, a rockin' bod. To, yeah. And if be you want to make money and get laid, just be a bartender. You get plenty of opportunities. Blonde? Are you a blonde? Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, That's my fucking kryptonite, dude. That's why I stay away from because I haven't met because they're crazy as fuck, dude. Yes, yeah. I'm sorry for all you blonde women no, out they're there. Fucking insane. Y'all need to get your fucking <clears throat> shits fucking all whacked out, dude. They are every single one. Oh yeah, psychos. Yeah, I dated a blonde no for a little bit. It was crazy. Everybody says uh, people think bald people are psychos. Good in so. bed, but. Yeah, dude, fucking amazing. But it's just like if that's the only thing you want to be good at, be a prostitute. <laughs> or a porn star. Or a porn star. Either one makes decent money. Probably sure. more than what all my blonde girl ex girlfriends make. <laughs> fucking sluts. If you're listening, <laughs> just know. You're a fucking slut. You're a fucking <laughs> slut. <laughs> oh man, this took a turn. Nah. Yeah, dude. Leave li- uh, talking about my Dating and sex life, it's great. Dude. Yeah, yeah, Super no, extravagant. no, it's not a sex life. We're making you a Tinder profile that says cuddles only. Oh, yeah, cuddle bloody power. <laughs> yeah, would you like a? I feel like I don't have like a six pack, and that's like all those fucking thirsty ass bitches on there. That was the one thing that was dude, nice about most being a girls want dad bods, like, though. You're right, though. Yeah. That's like a like, thing. Dad that's bods in. are a thing right now. Maybe that's why, like, they don't so really much. want like the six pack. No, I like. I need to get back in shape though. For like, sure. Have you seen like all these hot girls and like who they're dating? Like, yeah, because they got fucking money. That's literally. I hate okay, to say listen, it, but it's women not all about like that, stability. Though. No stability, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, honey, I want to go shopping today. Here you go. Here you go. Here's money. But also, it's like, but but also, like, I've seen. I know so many people. That's like, I. There's also a TikTok trend out there where it's like, you you probably wondered how I landed a girl that's this hot. It's probably you're probably thinking either got a big dick or ton of money. Well, ha! Jokes on you. I ain't got either of those. I'm just really fucking awesome. Yeah. But it's like true. There are there's so many people out there like someone the, like the fixer uppers though. That's that's what I've true. Noticed. It's like if you don't have money, then you're just a fixer upper. Like that's, or you got or you lay pipe like it's nobody's business. I guess, but a lot of people can do that. Yeah, to be to be really good at it though, is some people are not really good at it. Like they're okay, they're mediocre. It's like, eh. Hmm. Ooh, okay. We should we should we should I should get permission from my wife first. We should also do this in another segment, which we should send out surveys to all of our exes about our no. sexual performance. That would be awful. No. I mean, not the married ones. <laughs> I don't talk to any of them. Really? Yeah, for a reason. All bad ones. No, because. Or they're just crazy. Oh, when you're called an ex, that's it's the end of the line. That's what, that's when I'm done. Ah, uh, you'll never talk to him again. Nah, oh, I've okay. talked to him before. Like I've, but it's just it it brings up my problem is that I I I feel like I would get to it would bring up too much emotional ah uh, trauma bag. Yeah, and I just like it's not because like I mean obviously I I oh, I guess I did break up with my last ex. But I swear, like, every one of my exes, I, I told you this before, I'm good luck Chuck. Yeah, you're like... It's fucking annoying you meet, as hell. You're the guy that they date until they meet their husband. Yeah, and then they're like, all right, well, you know, you're going to college and you don't have any money, you don't have any direction in your life. It's like, all right, you don't blah, blah, blah. There's always something that's not good enough. And then they go find that guy that just does that really well. And it's like, mm, you know, 
and then they get married to them and they're I don't know I block that's why I've learned I block everything from all I'll delete their number and like I'll block them on like friends on social media or so whatever. Don't see that shit. I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear from you. If you if you somehow can get a hold of if any of my exes can actually get a hold of me, you're probably going to have to hit up like my AOL account or something like that. Like yeah. my fucking what else is or us. Fuck? Yeah. Like if like, you're watching this and you are one of his exes, you can DM us. That'd be funny. <sighs> If you that would be impressive. If you wanted to reach out, which you probably don't, but exactly, dude. I just feel like, and it never ended. I've never had a relationship end okay. Have you? It's always been like super fuck. Like rather they uh, cheated on me, and it's like there's another guy involved, and they they just leave me off to the curb, and I don't hear back from them, and I'm always calling them like, "What's going on?" I haven't heard from you. Yeah, I've had hookups end amicably, but I've never had like relationships end amicably. Uh, I have had an ex where I have hooked up with her, but. I did it out of spite because my one, my <laughs> ex girl, my newest ex girlfriend broke up with me. I was like, fuck it. I'm going back. Oh, actually, that's not true. I broke pipe. up with a girl and she didn't care and I didn't care either. That's weird. Yeah. I was, well, I didn't like her. No, she broke up with me. She, we, we just weren't vibing really well. Yeah. And she was like, like hey, fuck. she's like, hey, this isn't working. Uh, so I think we should. I think we should just see the people. And I was like, "Yeah, I agree. Thanks." And, but, but you guys still fucked. What? But you guys are still fuck, of fucking. Co- of course. I mean, not after she said that. But we were fucking until she said that. Oh well, yeah. I mean, I've had a couple. Fr- I've had a couple friends with benefits, but. Yeah, those. Oh God, dude, those are honestly the best. Those dude. are so fun. I had one girl, dude, Bailey. God dang it. But like the problem is, is I like she didn't move. That was the years. problem is, is like with friends with benefit, they always get feelings. So you're right. They always, Bailey they always catch feelings. I mean, but I I was straight up with people. I'm like, this is what it is. Yeah, it's like this is not like we're friends. We can hang out. We can chill. We can buy. We can watch Netflix. We can do all that shit. The great thing about Bailey, though, I don't care I about like, your day. Don't, I don't even hit me up about that. Like you hit me up when you want to fuck. I'll hit you up when I want to fuck, and it's exclusive. Like, you're not fucking other people. I'm not fucking other girls. Oh. Like, it's just to get to satisfy that human need, and it was fucking awesome. And then, sure enough, I guess she was going through shit, but of course we didn't talk about that. Because you don't. Because I didn't want, I See, didn't fucking care. I take the friend part into consideration. When I had my friends with benefits, like, I was still your friend. No. Nope. But, I'll like, we were, we, we were, like, we were friends that had sex. Yeah. And I made it very clear, like, hey, listen, I care about you as a person. That's my friend. There is no, um, there is no like, lovey-dovey feelings here, though. Like, yeah. what we do is a carnal need. Like, we do we have sex because we crave it. Yeah. And we both have agreed that this is access that we both need. Like, if we can't get sex anywhere else or whatever, like, got you. Hmm. You know? I've also had a couple. I've also I also had a friend with benefit that was like my friend with benefit. If I was in a relationship and I wasn't getting sex, and she was like, "I got you." Oh, what a douche! Me or her? You? Yeah. <laughs> dude, I was a douchebag before. Yeah, I dude, I've been cheated on too many times. I know what that feeling feels yeah, like. I've been cheated on. That's why. I, that's why I kind of get people back sometimes. Mm. Yeah, it's good. You getting cheated on sucks. It, it does. sucks so bad. A, I feel like that's a, what. Honestly, it's made me who I am today, though, at the end of the day. I think you're a little insecure about the whole good luck Chuck thing, the way you talk about it. Oh, yeah, because it's a fact, Yeah, dude. Like, it's It really, happens like, all the fucking like, time. Like, you're so, like, I think that I think that's honestly probably why you don't, it takes you so long to open up, too. Because you're like, God damn it, like, I like no, you. and you're all gonna... these fucking trap whores that come out and that are attracted. <laughs> I'm <whores>. seriously... <laughs> I'm attracted to fucking crazies. Yeah. Yeah. And I've, it's not fair. I've seen pictures or conversations of, of you and telling me about your exes. And I was like, Ooh, it's not fair, dude. That's not a good. I'm but, over it. So it's like you reform them and then they're like, all right. Yeah. I know that if like, if you like me, then you're fucking crazy. That's all. And I just avoid it. So you just <laughs> need to find someone that is not your type. Agreed. But that's. I don't even know. What well, type like is. you need to go. Like you need to find. Some, well, not a blonde. I like a ginger. I need a ginger in my life. Mm. Yeah, I know, dude. Ooh, dude. I'm not a fan of. Gingers. They're crazy. 
Are they? Yeah, they're crazy in bed too, but they're crazy. They're just crazy, crazy. Mm. I mean, they're not they're not worse than blondes. They're like one step down. Oh, so avoid gingers. I would say brown brunette, like or make like a blonde, like a brown natural with like the blonde highlights. That's fine. Ooh, yeah. Um, Dirty or blonde. like a black black haired girl. Eventually. Yep. But you need to go with somebody that's not your type. Like find somebody. Yeah. Also, don't go for like supermodel looking girls. Yeah, because well, those... okay for one, they I don't generally chase people. They come to me. But right. I also think it's just because of my occupation. Like also, a you're... lot of people want to fuck a bartender. Well, and you want you want girls want you when they want cuffing. Yeah. They want to be cuffed, and then as soon as like hot girl summer comes out, they're like, "Yep, deuces." True. Like you need a girl that's not super like you need to go looking for this girl like someone mm. that's like sweet nice caring had a good upbringing and mm. then like she looks wholesome but she's still hot you know what i mean like like you know he's like don't go for a 10 go for a nine go for no if don't go for a 10s don't exist go for the like unicorns dude. go for like a seven nah I a fuck so many tens though. That's hard to settle right, for a seven. and that's why it gets you in trouble. Yeah. So it. you go for a seven <laughs> that knows yeah, what yeah, she's doing, and then you'll be fine, dude. God. Yeah, you right. settle. I'll you it settle out for a little less in the looks department. You get a little more personality, and you got a maid. True. Like you. Okay. The problem is, have you ever seen the crazy chart? Yep. Where it's like you can't the have unicorn. this much crazy and that the yeah. and unicorns they don't exist. You, you 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 hot crazy chart is ex- it, it, it's real. No, I I so I like agree with don't you. go over that. You always are like over here in the fucking ten crazy with like a ten hot. It's not my fault. Or not a ten hot, a ten crazy and like an eight hot or a nine hot, and it's just not possible. It is because she she can never be more crazy than she is hot, and that's just a fact. And you go for those people. It's not. No, they come for me. I don't go for them. Fair. They come for you. Because I know that I'm out of their leagues or they're out of. Yeah. You're out of their league. I'm out of their league. Yeah. So it's like, mm, I'm not even going to try. But then they come up to me or they make it. They make. Hey, you should talk to me. Like it's working in the industry and with alcohol. It's, it's a lot easier. So true. You go. For, I'm telling you, find a seven with like a 10 personality. They don't exist. Yeah, they do. To be continued on that, I guess. I don't we'll know. talk off the camera. <laughs> that because I have some opinions. Like uh, okay, anyway. So I think that's pretty much it. We were talking about daily routines, and then we went into your sex life, and then we went into friends yeah. with benefits, and then we went into it's fine. This is Every the PM day. podcast. We talk about personal shit. Fuck yeah. you guys. It was fun. I'm just kidding. We love you. So uh, what do you rate this drink? The zero. The, 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 <laughs> negative one. <laughs> negative one. So what um, was it again? It was like, like fucking moonshine fruit punch, moonshine, moonshine and, and sprite. Good God, dude! Common drink down in the south. We're not drinking it again. So nope. Zero. I have it. I have it in my notes now. It's called a fruit sucker punch. Which huh. is sucker punch, yeah, right? Yeah, dude. But uh, okay. So if you guys have any questions about Braxton's sex life, if no, you're a, no. uh, <laughs> if you're in, if you think you're a seven or an eight hot. And then like a 10 personality and you're not crazy and you're not blonde, let us know. DM us. <laughs> and you have to be, wait, how old are you? 28? And you're into dad bods. You got to be, <laughs> you got to be 24 older. Yeah, uh, dude. Ha- like yeah. a minimum of like, 24. you have to be, I my minimum is 22. Because it's like, out you of college. A, you had a, yeah, you're out of college. You just, you fucked all your, all, the whole football team. That's I why I said 24. Because I'm 24 and girls my age are just now starting to. Like, chill the fuck out. Right. Yeah, you right. So, 24. 24 to 32. 32? God damn. Oh, dude, no, no. You're 28. 32 year olds? Mm. I want to outlive my girlfriend. I don't want her to outlive me. That's. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? She's not going to outlive you. Men, women live younger. seven years longer than men. I'm a guy. I date younger. I don't women date li- Women live... My wife is seven years older than me. Uh, but I'm... I'm sorry. I'm a man. Shut so the like, fuck <laughs> up. Like, it's like a fetish. I'm telling you what, though. You have an older girl. They... They... Oof, man. 
They want to lock you down. They want to get baby in them. Well, no, not wanna, even that. Like, wanna, no, wanna, you can, you can you, you can find like no. Once you get up in like the mid to late thirties, then you're having problems. They have baggage and shit like that. <laughs> baggage. Thirty two, thirty one. You're still okay in this area. Don't go down south or like north. Stay like Carmel, Zionsville, Westfield, Noblesville. Oh yeah, those Carmel moms. Yeah. Hit me. Or just not even moms. Like, there's a lot of 30 year old people that are in Carmel, Zionsville, Noblesville area. Hot as fucking single as fuck. And yeah. no kids. Well. So hit us up. I know you're watching. <laughs> so <laughs> there, there is 38% of you that are 38% of you people that are in Indiana. Uh, I know 30% of you are women, and I know that you're between 25 and like 35. So. Dang. <clears throat> if you fit those and we have analytics don't get creepy so um yeah. <laughs> i don't know your address don't worry so but if you if you heard this hit hit us up let us check out your facebook profile <laughs> let's send them your way that's awkward <laughs> it won't happen blind worry. dates setting you up yeah let's go on a blind date with aaron and his wife yeah 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 we'll double date we'll have a fucking hilarious time all right, I'm down. I'll crack jokes about his dating the cougars. I mean, hey, cougars are where it's at. I've always dated older. I've <laughs> always, like, hey, I hey, have well, always, always, always dated older. That's just, oh, they're so boring. Not really? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like, yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna. You gotta talk to the right people. Yeah, you're right. I'm sure there's. I mean, yeah, if you're talking to, like, an older, hot, like, super fucking 10 crazy and all that shit, yeah, of course they're going to yeah. be boring as fuck. That's my type. <laughs> hot and boring. Hot and fucking no personality. <laughs> yep. We need to find you something that meshes. Okay, so anyway, that's it for us, guys. Uh, this one was actually pretty on par with what our normal times are, so that was good. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you want to see, what you want to hear. We're not showing you our feet this week. It's okay. Uh, kind of did. Yeah, if you guys got any topics that you guys yeah, want us yeah, to yeah, talk know. about, get our opinion on. Yeah, I mean, I'm down to kind of talk about, I mean, I don't know a lot about space, but I like to talk about Fair. it. Fair. Uh, also, shout out to Canada. Thank you for picking up on the subscriber count. You guys, are, eh? you guys are picking up speed, and I love it. Uh, we're getting some more growth in Canada, so I appreciate I know you guys probably hate that. I'm sorry. Canada, uh, so I appreciate that. But other than that, guys, I think that's it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, bye. Later, guys. Start your day off right with some coffee or other beverage in the new Season 3 mug. Get yours today only at PottyMouseShow.com.